In 2010, a very important anti-corruption movement took place in India, whose basis was to have an independent anti-corruption investigative agency called the Jan Lokpa. It was believed that one of the major reasons for why corruption is proliferating in this country is because all the investigative agencies to investigate corruption, which is done by uh, government officers, ministers, etc., are controlled by the government. Therefore, it was thought that there needs to be a completely independent authority called the Jan Lokpal, which should have an investigative agency under its control, whose independence will be guaranteed by the fact that even the selection of the Jan Lokpal will be by a transparent process in which the government and the politicians will have a minimal role and the removal of the Lokpal would also not be in the hands of the government or of politicians, that is parliament, assemblies, etc. It was thought that there would be a Lokpal at the center and Lokayuks in the states. The Lokpal at the center would be to investigate corruption by central public servants, including ministers of the center and members of parliament, and the Lokayuks in the states would investigate corruption by the state public servants under the state governments or in the states, including ministers and MLAs. Recently, every we uh, we drafted 13 versions of the Jan Lokpal bill, in each version, the selection committee consisted of several persons and a very tiny minority of people from the government or from the political class. We drafted the Uttarakhand Lok Ayukt bill as well as the Delhi uh, Jan Lokpal bill was also prepared of 2014. All these bills had a small minority in the selection committee for the Lokpal from the political class or from the government. However, the bill that has been brought now in 2015, which is supposed to have been passed by the Delhi cabinet recently, which was not made public until Pankaj Pushkar fought that uh, as a member of the business advisory committee he needs to get a copy of the bill. When this bill was seen by us, we were shocked by its contents because it betrays every principle on which the Jan Lokpal bill was drafted or the other Lokpal bills uh, were drafted by us. The Lokpal in this 2015 Delhi bill will be selected by the Delhi government. It will, <coughs> it can be removed by the um, uh, two-thirds majority of members of the assembly. In the selection committee, you have the chief minister, the speaker who are both from the Amadmi party, who would both be from the Amadmi party or from the government, plus leader of opposition who is also a politician and only one independent person that is the Chief Justice. The removal is also controlled by the politicians. They can remove the Lokpal whenever they want by two-third majority of the assembly. It has not been provided with any independent investigative agency and will have to rely upon investigative agencies of various governments with their consent. <clears throat> and one very mischievous provision has been introduced that is to give the Delhi Lokpal jurisdiction to investigate corruption even of the central government and central government officers committed in Delhi. This provision has been 
inserted to ensure that the central government does not approve it and therefore this Delhi Lokpal does not become law. And that the Amadmi party can claim that they had passed this Jan Lokpal bill in the assembly but the central government is obstructing it. There has never been a more serious treachery committed by any movement in this country than the treachery committed by Arvind Kejriwal and the Aam Admi Party in betraying every principle on which the Jan Lokpal movement was fought, on which the Jan Lokpal bills were drafted. 